Hey guys, it's me, Melissa, and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another local pilot place, and this is called That Pilot Place, or The Pilot Place, I think it's called That Pilot Place. I tried to contact them, they didn't give me a yes or no on filming, so it might just be me filming right here, and then maybe see what I got afterwards. So, this place is crazy. I was at the wrong place, again. I reparked, I don't know if I'm parked in a good spot or not. Um, they never wrote me back in again about filming, so I'm just gonna go in there. Are, are you this a little bit of a, a stressful experience to me? <laughs> There's big semi trucks everywhere, pulling out everywhere, and as you know, I hate driving. So I guess I'm gonna, I think I'm at the right place, so I guess I'm gonna go inside now. If they won't let me film, if I pick up something, you guys will see it after. Okay guys, they said I could film. So here we have all the pallets here. Now these pallets are kind of a little more my size. Well, this one only 125. All the stuff in here. Tons of blankets. This is 550. 64 pieces of blankets. That's a lot of blankets. Is that blankets? Must be blankets. Got more back here. Look at all these little, are these like squishmallows? Oh, they are squishmallows. Tons of squishmallows. This one's 180. Bunch of rando. I like rando. We know I like rando. And we got some throws. <coughs> Not sure what's in there. Or in there, maybe it's a mystery mystery. <laughs> All these ones, don't know quite what they're in there. We got some isotoners and heated throws. That's not bad. Comforters, plushes. This one says Barbie. Lots of fun stuff in there. I'm gonna definitely pick it up something. I love the other place, it was great for like bigger items, but this place is more up my alley. I'm gonna cut off a little bit, not get a few people to miss, miss some of the stuff, but we'll see pretty much almost everything. Some more stuff over here. Only $80. $50. Like I said, I'm gonna do really looking after. This is just me kind of giving you a what's what of what you could possibly get. And I'll link everything down below. I will tell you the place is a little hard to find, but if you ask people, they'll, they'll help you. <laughs> I'll kind of show you outside when we're done. This one right here is $4.50. And you're seeing like these are, look, you get brand new sharks, $250, all that stuff in there. This is nice. Makes you wonder what, how much like the truckloads are. I'm not gonna ask them that. This one's got tons of uh, two pack of hot mugs. Oh man, I wish I could like pick and choose like what I want. <laughs> I would make like the awesomest palette for myself. This one right here, look at a ninja. This one's $400, but it's got a lot of cool stuff in it. I also need to figure out what's going to fit my car. <laughs> now I'm just going to do kind of like a rough through. There's other stuff I think that aren't for sale quite yet. Then, maybe they are. Maybe all this stuff is up for sale. Stuff over here. So I'm just going to show you a little bit more. Dias Dues Mertes. Yeah, whatever. I don't know how to say it. Lots of plates. This one's got like lighting fixtures. $600. Look at all these. Oh, almost fell over. Five fifty. Five fifty. Foam cups. You need some foam cups? They got some foam cups. <laughs> no joke. Now I'm not sure if I'm putting this video out directly, like after doing it. Um, might be a couple weeks till you see the video, but this is gonna give you like a just a gist of what you could possibly get when you come here. They are new to this location. You want a kayak? They got a kayak. Quick starter. What oh this one's sold. Somebody got a crazy amount of these. All right, so now it's my turn. Got that back there. It's my turn to go look, and you guys will see what I get. I bought one. So you're gonna be looking for number 20 when you come out here, number 20. It's a little bit hard to find. It goes 18 to 20. And you'll see the door open like this. There'll be a bay door open. Wait to see what I got. 180 bucks. Now I'm home. I got it all out of the car. Whew. There was a few other things I wanted in there I, th I would thought would be like even a better of a deal, but the stuff was like so heavy that I thought selling on whatnot would not be good for me. And also a lot of them had like tons of multiples, which if I couldn't sell one good one, then who knows? Now, do I know if this is going to be as good as me getting regular kind of wholesale lots? Probably not seeing a lot of the same item, 
but I w wanted to do it. I wanted to go see, and I, I definitely will go there again because you know it'll constantly be new stuff. Um, so I figured the best way to and you're also really nice too. Um, in order to kind of show you everything all at once, I just have it laid down on the floor right now. This is just gonna be the easiest way instead of holding up everything. I got some prices for um, most of the things that I could get a price for, so I'm gonna try to show and read that at the same time. Remember, it was $180, but there was no shipping costs, but there was some uh, time and labor. Look at this. That's sweaty. I don't know how they work in there, because it's hot. Outside, hot. Hot, hot, hot. I need some some middle of the road here. All right, so let me show you guys everything, and we'll go over prices. Maybe I'll just show you, and then we'll go over prices, and then, um, yeah. Yeah. FYI, the house is a hot mess, obviously, because I do my whatnots in here. So we got three of these mattress uh pads in twin and one in full and then these are all going to be twins two set of twin sheets i think there's like four sets of the twin here and two sets of the full i think three of the twin and then also three of the full there's only one of these nope two two of these and then we have these oh wait, let me show you that little squish mallowy robe thing then we have all these are twin and their soft wash down alternative comforter two of the white and then everything else just has one and then coming down now it's funny because these three things right here he threw in my in my palette as he was walking by i got to meet the other guy who owns it and these are like the most expensive so two of these and i think they're all in king one of the brown and then one of the brown one of the brown and one of the gray this one I couldn't find a price for, but it's a little threshold throw. Then we have all these throws over here. And then finishing it off with this ginormous bee and willow home. All right, let's move back over there. And keep in mind, I can only see when I'm buying this palette, as you can see, only the top. So I didn't know what was underneath. So it's not like a complete, you get to see everything. You get like a gist of it. There was one I saw of the same kind of thing that she sold, but they had like a bunch of these set up. So they had like, I think like five or six of these like same bedding type things. They said they all got their stuff, I guess, from Sam's because it was a lot of makers, maker's mark. Um, but none of these items was scanned because obviously they don't sell these SKUs anymore. So from what I found, the Dawn Alternative Comforters were like $29.98. The soft watch sheets, which we have tons of, were $14.98. The sleep sort of mattress pads at Walmart were $28.98. I couldn't find it at um, there. The throws, the one throw was $29.98, and then the other plush Sherpa throws were $39.98. The hotel sheets, $99.98. That's our moneymaker. <laughs> and then the Swish Milo was $16.90. So think of it this way. I mean, obviously, if these sheets are only $14, or $14, I'll probably have to start these at a dollar, which they might go for a dollar due to, like, shipping costs. So that won't make me a whole bunch of money. That sh Squish Mallow won't make me a lot of money. Uh, but this is all kind of like like trying to see what's what and what uh, makes people happy. And like I said, I've been dying to go to this place. And since I had an extra day off today, I was like, just go. It's across town, but just go. And then like shipping these big gigantic things, I don't know. Maybe I'll try to sell some of the larger ones locally. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just trying to figure it all out. But yeah, so if you are looking to find some items for resale or maybe even just, look at that, gross, even just for yourself, I do suggest checking them out. I'm going to put the link down below for their Facebook, which has all their information on it. Um, it will be a little hard to find. She told me today the reason why it was so difficult was because usually there isn't so many like semi-trucks and there were semi-trucks everywhere. So you couldn't really see what each building was because you're trying to dodge semi-trucks. And you know me, I hate driving. And then put like semi trucks in the in the mix because like when I went the first time I was lost it was because I didn't go far enough because I saw the semi trucks and I was like that's probably not where I'm supposed to go but it was but yeah she said it's not normally that crazy so if you go down there it won't be like that but you go to number twenty so far they don't have a sign because they're new but twenty that's no as long as you know it's twenty and it'll be on the left side you'll be good to go but I definitely think I'll I'll go back down there and check it out um. Maybe if I even bring my dad, then we can have two vehicles and be able to put more stuff in it. This didn't fill up my whole entire car, which is good. $180. Not bad. I mean, definitely over $180, way over $180 worth of stuff. Seems we have four of the hotel things 
that are alone $100 each. So that's two, one, two, three, four. That's four hundred dollars right there just in that. And probably another two, three hundred the rest of the stuff. So it is a good value. And you know, some of those things are king. I might keep for myself. Because I got a king. My spare bedroom has a queen. I don't think any of these things are a queen. Yeah. You know? So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, please put them down below. If you hadn't yet subscribed, I'd sweated a lot. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day. I'll see you soon. Bye.